Hello YouTube, welcome to another MMD PNB tutorial. And this is actually going to be a remake of the how to add the bones, physics, joints, all that crap to hair. Um, people told me that the sound was messed up and it wasn't doing it for me until I tried to add captions. And then it started messing up for me. So instead, here is the remake of the video. So of course, like the first one, um, I'm not an expert, so I will try to help as much as I can. I will go ahead and put this hair in the description so you guys can go along with me if you'd like before you actually try to um, uh, do it with the hair that you want. Um, but of course in this one I am just going to make it very quickly, so I'm just going to put physics down this little area right here uh, and bones and whatnot. Um, so yes, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have your BN or your bone tab clicked. It usually is when you first get it up. And you want to have your object manipulation box up, which is your MOV, which is, I usually just say move, because that's pretty much what this box does is move stuff. Uh, so first thing you want to do now is come to this box, go to bone, click this little plus symbol down here, and change this to the Jap... Oops, that's not right. Uh, that will be changed to, that's not right again, uh, Japanese symbol for head. And I will put this in the description for you as well. And if you see it comes down here, it's a little red dot. So then, so that means it's already selected. Go ahead and move it up. And just imagine if a model's head was like right here, you kind of try to put it like in the middle of the model's face. And just ignore these little glasses right here, by the way. Um, I didn't really feel like taking them out. But yeah, so move this about where the middle of the model's head would be. After you've done that, come back to your bone, click this little plus again, and I'm going to go ahead and name this hair zero. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it just one. You can name it hair one, whatever. And every time you click the plus button, the new one comes down here. So it is right. It's already selected. Go ahead and move this one up now to where you want your first section of bones and physics and whatnot to start. Again, this model is going to be, this uh, hair is going to be quickly done just so you guys get the hang of it. After you've moved that, come back to your uh, bone tab over here and then click Control D and it makes another one. Go ahead and name it hair one or whatever. And as you can see, it actually stays up here. That's why it's nice pushing Control D. You don't necessarily have to, but it's just a lot easier. So go ahead and move that one down now to where you want your next part of bones to be. And go ahead and look all around to make sure it's not too far left or right or forward or backward. So you won't have to come back and refix it later. And then what you do next is repeat that same process until you have um, enough bones that you want. So I will probably go ahead and fast forward through this so you guys don't have to um, sit here and watch me do all of them. So go ahead and do it, pause the video if you need to, and come back when you're ready. So after you've got the bones down to where you want them, 
uh, you are going to go ahead and start connecting everything. So, and I'm sorry if you guys can hear that stupid car outside. It's getting on my nerves. Um, so, yes, like I was saying, you go ahead and connect everything. You do not connect the bone to anything. So, we will go ahead and skip that one. This one is the center bone or mother bone or whatever. So, we ignore that as well. Go straight to your hair zero or whatever you named it. And go ahead and essentially what it is, is it's the parent bone is going to be minus one. And your bone or your child bone is going to be plus one. So, parent is one, child bone is three. Then three, parent bone is two, child bone is four. And then four will be three for parent, and then it's child is five. So just do that, and as you can see, they are starting to connect. So just do that till you get all the way to the bottom. Okay, so after you get to your very last bone, you'll notice you don't have anything to really connect it to. So what you do is click Control D, and I'm going to name this 10 Invis. This is going to be an invisible bone. So go ahead and move it down to, in this case, I'm going to do like the very um, tip of the hair. And after you've moved that to where you want it, you will click this, V-I-S. It's what makes it invisible or not visible. So as you can see, I click that and it disappears, and it should turn gray. So then what you can do is for the last bone before you're invisible, go ahead and make its parent, of course, the minus 110, and now its baby is your invisible bone. And with your invisible bone, the parent is the minus 1, and it does not need a baby bone. So that's the invisible bone is just there to kind of help. Um, so after we have connected everything, the next thing that we want to do is to weigh the bones. So to do that, you want to click the WGHT, which is the weight button. The first one you have to weight is the head bone. What you uh, press start, and everything should come out as black little dots. And what you want to do is just go ahead and um, click and hold and color everything to make it little red dots. And you want to hold everything because obviously that is a head bone, so that means the hair will follow the head bone. Sorry if you hear my cat, one of my cats back there. Okay, so after everything is red, and make sure everything is red because if not, you will mess up. Go ahead and click start again. The next thing you want to do is click your first hair bone. And instead of weighting the whole entire thing, you just weight the whole entire ponytail. And again, make sure all the little black dots on the ponytail are gone. Do not worry about this area. Just worry about your ponytail. Make sure all of it's gone. And then when you're done, click start again. Click your next piece. And from here, what you want to do is you just weight from where the bone starts and go down. Don't worry about anything above it. Just go from where it starts and go down. So I will speed this part up so you guys can do this and then we'll continue.
Okay, so after you've done that, you can go ahead and get um, click off this completely. And oops. And um, the next step, what we want to do is to select all of your ponytail bones. Do not worry about your head bone yet, just select your ponytail bone. After you have selected all of your ponytail bones, you go to Edit, Bone, Create Body Slash Joint, and then click Yes. So to see what you just did, come up here, BDY, Body, J, Joint. You can see that you just added a little line of physics and joints. Now, of course, we have to do it for the head as well, so click on your head bone. You go to Edit, Bone, Create Body click yes and as you can see a little circle well maybe it'll come out as a circle um, so if not I'll show you how to fix that come back to this and you want to go to your body tab you don't have to do this but I always put my head at the top and to do that just click on it click this little arrow key up um, I am going to make mine a little bit bigger so to make it bigger or smaller you go to radius and again, to make mine a tad bit bigger. And if you need to, you can move it up or down if it didn't come out exactly where you need it to be. And if it does not come out as a circle, you mess with these. And it needs to stay on SPH, which is sphere. Make sure it is on that one. Now, while, while you are on this tab, go ahead and select all of your hairs. And to do that, hold shift and just go down and get all of them and come over to group right here go down to six we will change these to be purple and with this click all of them but number one I honestly have no idea why you do this but I know you have to so just make sure all of these except one are clicked for all of your hair pieces not your head just your hair pieces and after you have done that the next thing that you want to do is come to your joint tab and you will click on uh, your hair zero right here and body A will be your head and then body B will be hair zero what that does is it pretty much just connects everything for you pretty much automatically um, so the last thing that you want to do is to test it so to do that, you go to your T right here, which is transform view. Um, why is mine not coming up? Oh, okay, that was weird. So yeah, here's my transform view. I don't know why mine is always crooked every time I bring it up. That's so weird. Um, why is this being a pain in the butt? Sorry, my thing is like not really wanting to like work here okay there we go alright so to check it you come up here click the little play but uh, play button and you will see and this of course physics right here should be on too and then your hair should start to move um, so of course go ahead and wiggle it all around and as you can see what I meant by it being a little choppy, the reason it looks like that is because, again, I only did the one little piece instead of actually doing more pieces that, that could have used it. Excuse me. But as you can see, physics work. Um, obviously, when you actually put it on your model, I would take more time to do so. Um, but that's all there is to it. Um, so again, I'm not an expert, but if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything, I will try to help out as much as I can. Um, and also, if you would like to see any other types of videos, please feel free to comment anything, and I will try to get them done as soon as possible. So stay tuned for the next video.